What is this? What is this? More flowers! Oh, you guys, I'm so happy! Good, 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 good job, Rain Petal! I saw that it was you who dug that up. Don't worry, I did notice. Oh, you guys, we have more flowers to be able to play on now! I am so ridiculously excited about that. But hello, everyone, and welcome back to the wonderful wild world of Wobble Dogs, where we are carrying on with another variation of our wonderful laboratory experiments. And today, friends, we are going to do a little bit of reflection reflecting on giraffes, giant spindly legged golden giraffes. I really am overdue for actually starting this project. So I'm really excited about it. And even though I said I was saving this extra room, I do think today is going to be the day that we are gonna to try to figure out a way to work with my giraffe dogs. I'm not exactly sure, like we're gonna to have to do a lot of rearranging how we're gonna make that happen. Um, But we're gonna make it happen. And then we're gonna see what kind of experiments like show up as a result and also we need to take good care of our doggies who are actually here in the boneyard guarding all of our ghosts like rain bottle who is a little hungry so we're gonna fill up on ectoplasm because now that ectoplasm exists i completely think that that is what the gar the ghost guard dogs should eat most of the time because think how cool that is with the ectoplasm we actually have the ability for the dogs to have random mutations all the time and little potato oh it's so good to see you again little potato your child little squash is doing very well I'm, I'm very pleased with it, to be completely honest. Uh, meanwhile, Drip is ready to go ahead and evolve, or like puppy too. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab Drip and we're gonna let them puppy, maybe in this tree. Oh my gosh. And little potatoes just levitating things. I think that's so cute when they levitate stuff. It's adorable. Uh, and you know what, we'll go ahead. Rain puddle. Do you wanna like eat one more thing really quickly? Here, we'll let you eat one more thing, and then we're gonna let the ghost dogs actually puppate and rotate ourselves back over to tend to the other pile of puppies who are actually ready to go ahead and start popping out of their little chrysalises. So Leafeon is still gonna stay in there. Drip is almost ready. Rain Puddle's almost ready. Critter, how you doing, Critter? Our one little pixel puppy is still working very hard at being a good pixel puppy. Critter, with the tiniest head of them all, and who is working very hard at eating all of these coconuts in the hope that they can get the gut bacteria they need from eating coconuts to be able to shrink down the leg size that has constantly plagued us uh, with our teeny tiny little pixel pups. Also, I wonder if maybe we can have Critter, like they're really tired and many of the pixel pups are often tired. So I wonder if we can actually have Critter maybe learn how to do some digging or maybe we should bring little squash down here critter can you can you put that right over here can you like gather that because maybe we can bring little squash down here and little squash can teach them how to build the den because you need to bring a lot of the dirt balls over to make the den <gasps> wait i can bring the dirt balls over to make the den what oh my gosh i forgot about that how many do i need to do i need to get like a whole bunch more dirt clumps and then we'll be able to build the den that's not a dirt clump, that's a coconut. But this is a dirt clump. Oh, I could make a den for my little pixel puppies. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, Critter, you go ahead and play with that. And maybe I do need to have a like digging puppy come and hang out. That could be a little squash. Where's little squash? Oh, there you are, little squash. You're not really squash colored anymore. So I got a little confused about where you were. Uh, here, we'll have you go ahead and maybe eat this fruit. You've always liked to eat fruit. And it's too bad because I did train Little Squash up um, completely in being able to go ahead and dig, but you can't command them to dig. I was hoping you could command them to dig and then I could just farm a bunch of flowers, but alas, that was not the case. But all right, speaking of farming flowers, let me actually go ahead and look at the achievement to unlock a new room. Planting 20 seeds, which I don't even have 20 seeds, unfortunately, could unlock a new room. Uh, we could also hatch 50 eggs, discover every flora, and then I think hatch or mutate a dog with a very tall body. Yeah, I think that we really are probably going to be best served if we go ahead and we actually just use this extra room for the giraffe room. So with that said, I'm going to start moving some things around. Um, and because I want to put the giraffes like over here. Whoops. 
Yeah, I want to put the giraffe room over in this top corner. So if that's the case, I need to scoot a few things. All right, let's try moving you. How many? Can I put this room right here? Okay, I can have enough room. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then the pixel puppies can move over one. And then the playroom, we can still have a path to the playroom too, um, which I might just loop a different way. So I need a room to put the... Yeah, I need to put these here so that I can put all the chrysalises into the room where Leafeon definitely needs to hatch eventually. Uh, and then I want a way for them to play in the giraffe room um, and also to be able to come down to the play yard. So I don't know how that'll work, but I think, I think that'll work actually. Yeah, look at that! There is a way for them to be able to come over and play in the play yard and hang out in the new giraffe room. Oh, I love it. Okay. I wasn't sure if I could make that happen, but apparently I can. All right, and then I'm gonna move this cocoon up and in. Oh, hey, it's time to mutate Critter. Okay, I am never gonna make Critter have to like wait about that. So we're gonna praise for carrying that dirt clump and then we're gonna like puppet Critter. All right, sooner we get you evolved, the better friend. And then tree tortoise. Oh, tree tortoise, how I wish I could get you more legs. I will feed you more chrysalis in just a little bit, friend. There we go. Whenever you're ready to puppy, we'll do that. All right, there we go. So, all right, yeah, I think working on the spindly legs is definitely going to be really fun. Um, oh my gosh, why are there so many chrysalises there? <laughs> they must have gotten stuck inside of the tubes and they've just been living there since then. Oh well, we'll work on that later. So if we're gonna like make the giraffe dogs, for one thing, we're gonna need to hatch some of the giraffe dogs. This is one that I thought we could save for the draft dogs. And then I know I have another one where I'm like, yes, this is going to be our line of golden giraffes. And I think it's this one right here. The legs are not nearly as long as I remember, but we're going to do our best. I think we've got at least a couple good ones to pick from for draft dogs. So we're going to go with, let's go with, that one's really strong and gold. We're gonna go with this one first. All right, and that's gonna be our first giraffe dog. Really excited to have the golden giraffe dog project finally underway. And then let's turn this into something pretty nice. Like we have jungle ruins carpet, which could work. We have jungle, oh, I like the jungle carpet. I really like the jungle carpet. Imagine that, it's literally plants. Of course I would love it. And then for walls, what are some options? We have the vine wallpaper. The cloud wallpaper, I think, is actually what we want to kind of have the savanna fill. Yeah, I want this. So we can have like a little bit of a feeling of being in a savanna. And then we're gonna need to wait until the puppies really start digging holes in here. But we'll put down some trees and then we'll look for whatever gives you long legs and we will put down whatever gives you long legs in just a minute too and try to make sure that the right dogs eat it. Uh, I'm gonna put down some plant pots as well, just because. And we might even make it so that the dogs can walk through and maybe look at the giraffe dogs, but the giraffe dogs stay over here while we are trying to get them the long legs. And then as adults, they could wander wherever they want, I suppose. Um, so that might be what we do. We might make like a little tiny zoo, for lack of a better term. <laughs> of course, I'm going to build a zoo and everything. I just, it's me. I, I do that. Um, where are all the walls we've unlocked? Because we've unlocked... <gasps> Oh, this is where the walls go. Boy, do I feel like a silly Siri. This is where they've been hiding. Durr. Oh, I love these growth dividers. Yeah, so that might be what we do. So then we'll go ahead and like put these down and then I'll just lift the giraffe puppies up over the edge and keep them. All right, need to fit something right in here. And just keep like the giraffe puppies uh, on this side while we feed them something that will give them long legs. And what would give us, apparently just the normal artificial cubes would give us long legs. Good to know. Um, in fact, I think that that's literally it. So like the Doritos or the nutritional cubes would give us long legs. So let's look at those as food options real quick. All right, giraffe dog project, giraffe dog project. I'm so excited because we have the giraffe dog project. All right, then we're gonna come back in here. 
Yes, please. So, long legs and orange. That totally sounds like something we would want for giraffes. So we'll probably do that one. But let's double, triple check to make sure that there's nothing that we would want from the chips as well. So this would be a long snout, short ears. We might want longer ears for like an ossicone. Um, Long snout might be really fun though. Long legs and orange coloration. So I think we'll do a mix of chips. Yeah, we'll do a mix of chips that we'll just kind of pile up over here. Oh my gosh. You know, I have not had Doritos for years because A, I'm vegan, B, they're really terrible for you. Don't eat them. Don't ever eat them, guys, please. Uh, but man, oof, now I want to make like some really yummy nutritional yeast, um, which is good for you, like crackers because, ah, oh, man. See, that's what happens when you, you have artificially created food. It, like literally, that's probably how those kinds of chips are made. It's just like pumping it out of a little extruder like that. There, now the desire to eat them has waned. Whew, I needed that. All right, meanwhile, let's come over and we need to feed Tree Tortoise because Tree Tortoise is quite hungry. Also, there's some poop. Gotta clean that up. Uh, so if we need to feed Tree Tortoise, we're gonna hatch Axolotl! Come on out, Axolotl! It's been too long! Where did your cocoon go? What the heck? And we have Axolotl, whose legs are definitely long enough to hopefully help us out with this extruded, like really, or this um spindly long-legged dog project. Snout rotation has gone up. The ear length has gone down. I think we have a pretty good puppy here for some of our experiments, for sure. All right, let me clean this up. Little Squash is just walking by, being adorable, with a tiny little coconut. Uh, and where did that gigantic chrysalis go? Like, I legitimately was going to feed Tree Tortoise that chrysalis because it was huge, and I thought that that would help out um, Tree Tortoise's needs of getting more legs. But now I don't see it, so Tree Tortoise, if you would like to come eat this, we're going to try to give you more legs, friend. All right, give you little pets for good luck. Yeah, good, good two-headed tree tortoise puppy and puppet. All right, there we go. Phew, all right, there we are. Oh, who's come out to play? <gasps> Brock Kelly, hey! Oh, all right, well, let's go ahead and Little Squash is having a good time too, uh, hanging out with Axolotl. I think they're happy to see each other. They're both adults now, woo! Which means we could have them have puppies if we wanted. And now, our very first of the giraffe dogs! Woo! So this one is actually going to be named Corn Dog after JC Animate Stuff, who asked for a dog named Corn Dog, and I thought that sounded like an adorable little name, and also that's what the random generator pulled up. And so here we are! So let's get our little puppy Corn Dog, the first of who we hope are going to become the giraffe dogs. Oh, corn dog's actually missing a couple legs. I did not know that. Over in here. And this is where corn dog is going to live and play and thrive and frolic and hopefully be able to turn into a giant giraffe dog in the future. Uh, and now that we've got that done, Tree Tortoise, did you have any luck with the extra legs? Oh my gosh, Axolotl and Little Squash are just having a great time back there. Tree Tortoise? Oh, no extra legs this time, friends. No extra legs this time. But we did have the leg stance go up and the leg length go down. Ironically, the opposite of what we're going to want to start happening. But Tree Tortoise seems determined to potentially give their offspring maybe more legs because they are just chomping down on all of those Cresselias. All right. Good job, Tree Tortoise. Let me clean this up. And then we I see a tooth for the boneyard. I'm going to yeet that in there. Oh, an axolotl and, yeah, axolotl and little squash are actually having a great time together. That makes me so happy. All right. Corn dog, you doing good? Yay! The very first of our giraffe dogs has begun. The giraffe dog experiments will continue. I am so pleased. We just need to let corn dog go ahead. Oh, they're very rude. Well, probably a good thing that they have their own little territory then. And we'll leave them be. And meanwhile, Critter! Okay, Critter with a teeny tiny head who needs to be an adult at the same time that some of our two-headed dogs are, is now an adult! Yes, you guys! All right, so Critter is now an adult. I think those legs, some of the legs have gotten really small. Some of them haven't. 
<laughs> but I think we're doing something over here. So good job, Critter. Hopefully, somehow or another, we will find a way to be able to make it so that you can you can walk comfortably, you can go ahead and have a happy life, and maybe in, even eventually a wonderful den. But Critter is scuttling along somehow. How? I'm not quite sure. We're not going to question it, we're just going to praise them, and we're just going to cross our fingers and hope that we can keep this up. But all right, guys, we're doing it. I think next time Axolotl and um, Little Squash definitely seem to be having a great time playing together. Their play meter is now completely full. And I think that they actually might have a puppy because I could see that being a really happy mix. And oh, and we'll also have to see if Critter and Axolotl have some teeny tiny little headed puppies too. But all right, if you guys could do please leave a like for all of our adorable little wobble dogs, even the cranky corn dog who has now come to join us as the humble beginnings of our giraffe dog lineage and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye